how to edit like fearless part two you don't have to watch the first one but if you want to link in the description i'm gonna show you five tricks techniques ways to make things look like fearless editing so um enjoy number one so what fearless does here is pretty crazy um and i'm not just talking about the editing but also the shot i was trying to get this nice snipe but with the clear sky visible but i just couldn't get so i'm stuck with this kind of bad clip so yeah this is me trying to figure out how, how to recreate it i already did kind of this but i'm not 100 percent satisfied with the effect so the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna do the zoom in with transform effect it's not just gonna be zooming in um it's gonna use position till the end of this clip it's gonna zoom in that much but i was thinking of every three frames it would be moving like different direction i'm not sure what's going on but and i think premiere doesn't either that's kind of this i think that that might be a little too much of the shutter angle so we might do 180 instead of 360 okay okay that seems nice so yeah we're gonna zoom in to to, to our skin like that i guess it doesn't really matter and in like a couple frames we're gonna go back and right as we see the name of the person that we killed we need to right click on the on the footage until it's like done until it's like, like at this point done showing uh show key clip keyframes time remapping and select speed so we need to right click on the in like in the beginning the, drag to like 250 around 250 and then stretch that a little bit so that it gets faster more smooth now it's the reason why my clip is kind of terrible we're gonna have these three frames very slow we're gonna do time remapping once again mm, this time we're gonna start at maybe like 90 then hold control click here and drag it down to like 20 percent we can remove sound because it's not gonna help us and now we have this sky at this point i made it way too complicated so just remove every color by lowering the saturation to zero um, in your lumetri color panel and that's gonna be it just just don't make the same mistake as me please be better show the life which you're here for okay back to the tutorial i have a green screen clip with lightnings so we're gonna get the the lightning strike one for now we're gonna go to ultra key to remove the green screen we gotta resize it put the lightning like on the sky to make it strike something in the background it looks kind of nice but we have to add some more lightnings this time place the lightning somewhere else fearless does most of them on the right i don't know like if that was intentionally or just random that's already cool we're gonna nest everything with the lightnings and i'm gonna add an opacity mask uh, let's stretch that so it's like it's like that and we're gonna add feather like like that we're gonna select max mask expansion and that's gonna be the first frame then two frames in we're gonna make it close close a little bit two frames in we're gonna make it open then we're gonna make it close again and repeat that till the end of the clip i don't know why i just said that a hundred times it's like pulsing and it's really fast 
so that's cool. Uh, we're gonna add lightning shake as always, so it's now pulsing. Oh my god, it's pulsing even more. I don't even know if I can stand that much of a pulse. At this point, I realize, yeah, let's remove all the colors. So yeah, we're gonna go to the nested sequence, we're gonna go to the clip and we're gonna make everything black and white. Uh, and lightnings, we're gonna nest lightnings. And add a lot more blue, a lot more exposure. And maybe VR glow, because that usually works pretty well. Lower that to like 0.5, that should look pretty awesome. Yeah, if you want to do more, you can always do more. Oof, that was tough. Um, now let's get to something a bit easier and less complicated. Number two. So yeah, this is pretty easy, but a lot of people would forget about some aspects. This is actually in front of a green screen and this is fake, but it doesn't matter. It, it can be anything. Just um, we're gonna do the zooming in uh, excited uh, lightning shake camera motion. Yeah, that's actually very easy. So uh, the first thing that we're gonna do is scale and we're gonna zoom in as much as we want. Um, not too much because we're also gonna add handheld camera motion which zooms it in even more so yeah some people will just leave it on that but those are lazy people yeah that that's boring right isn't it boring you, you need to download some handheld camera motion effects i downloaded it from cinecom and uh, thank you cinecom they're really cool i also had like one uh, ones from youtube but they're not really good, so I don't use them. But I'm gonna use Super Tele Smooth Motion. So now it moves kind of like... It's, it's fun. It, it moves in a fun way. First of all, we're gonna select Position. Um, we're gonna add the same keyframe. We're gonna put it at the, at the end. And here we're gonna add like, like a whip to the corner. You can choose any corner. Now we're gonna select... How do you... Bezier. Bezier. All right. Sick. Now we're gonna add Bezier to <laughs> uh, to this, and that's gonna do a little whip. I. That's a little too much. See, you're gonna you're gonna learn so much. I'm gonna make it a bit more smooth. Yeah. Last and probably the most used effect. Uh, of all time by me is lightning shake and this also appears in Fearless's videos uh, so now it's like pulsing light while zooming in while moving the camera like it's handheld and that's it that that's pretty easy number three Okay, this video is already very long. We're gonna we're gonna speed run through this one. <laughs> we have Neymar failing his shot, like like Neymar is used to do. Uh, I've got the moment where I want my rain on glass. I've put this effect, apply ultra key to remove the green screen, and now it just starts raining at some point. Click on the metric color, drag saturation a little bit then we're gonna head to basic correction in our effects control panel we're gonna select saturation we're gonna go five frames and we're gonna drag it to zero select exposure we're gonna drag it to seven select keyframe exposure and in about like 20 25 frames it's gonna go back to like two so yeah that looks kind of fun already apply transform effect to the clip so yeah, you're gonna go with 360 shutter angle and we're gonna move it a, a little bit maybe like that the clip select position go three frames reset the position so it, it will just go with rain like this direction and yeah that's it
the next part is offbeat transitions because you see um, we have the beat here and on the beat I, I decided and Fearless also decided that a couple times uh, in his editing career to put eliminations on the beat and transitions in the middle of the beat remember that it has to be like uh, like even so not random you can see that I put I've put markers when the mm, when the when there's like a part in between of the of the beat and I uh, put transitions there so to make it even more dynamic I made it zoom in and zoom out that's very simple make sure if you have like a song with a strong drum beat to make it twice as dynamic as it is just do offbeat transitions but remember that it has to be straight mathematics and number five So what I did here it was um, I put the text in the very center. If you move your text and you hold Control, um, you can see the lines and you can drag on them, and your text will be in the dead center of your footage. It it has to be uh, center aligned text. Select it, or else it will be kind of weird and unnatural. So now we're gonna nest all of our text and we're gonna track the motion. In After Effects, you can just track the car and then put the text on top, but in Premiere, you have to make it like this. But it's easy and it's and it's quite fast. We press position when our text is on top of the car. So now we move five frames. I've said that a couple times this video and not everyone might know this. To move five frames, you need to hold Shift and press the arrow. Now the, the car moved, so we're gonna move the text. We're going five frames, cause cause five frames is fast to track. It doesn't take forever, like moving frame by frame. In the final version, it looks like a smooth movement. It might take some time, it depends how long your shot is, but it's not gonna be forever. Because it's a nested sequence, we can always go and maybe change you no longer want hello, you want hi. It's gonna work just about right. If your motion isn't perfect, you can just go on a certain keyframe and just fix that and it's gonna be working really fine. Yeah, sweet. Yo, part three coming soon. <laughs> All right, but for real, I, I'm gonna try to find more things to talk about, but if I find, I'm, I'm gonna need like extra three months to prepare and I'm gonna deliver part three um, somewhere in the future, I promise I'll, I'll do it in my life. Subscribe if you learned anything new. Now, thanks for watching, see you soon in another video, and bye.